e every day is different. It's not a boring job. It's not something that's you're going to come to work, do the same food, do the same chores, have the same people working with you, especially when it, it's constantly changing. And and I guess the reward is the biggest thing for me. It's you know, it's you're changing people's lives. That's and that's and it making making a, a positive difference. So it started. Then when you come back, you're going to make a vegetable stack here with a risotto and some charred root vegetables. I think it's a mix of, of everyone in the whole building that, that does their bit. Um, like you've got James upstairs who, who does a lot of the life skills and that, and that uses that. And they, <clears throat> so they're not just here to work, they're also um, every week they have different discussions on, on life and how to, how, to, how to make things easier in life. And I guess I'm here to help, help them see that the, the work isn't hard, you know, that work is easy and that cooking is easy. And then, but combining the two, I guess it's life skills and, and knife skills come together as a whole. <laughs> what sorts of things do you think you've taken from your experience here? Before I really, I never believed in myself and now I believe in myself. Like I always said you couldn't do it, can't do it and then I figured out if you say you can do it, you can do it and now I can always do it. Now, what I've got out of it was just found myself being happy again. Uh, and uh, making coffees, that's really cool. And I was a terrible cook before too, and now I'm great at it. <laughs> and apparently I make the best coffees too, so... How we differ from other organisations, especially RTOs, <coughs> is that we're not just an RTO. We're not just a youth service. Um, we're, we're a holistic approach to young people um, bettering themselves. So on Mondays uh, we're not open to the public, it's, it's fully about the development of young people. Uh, they do their theoretical training uh, with full support from uh, usually retired qualified teachers that donate their time. Uh, they help them out with um, the, the tutoring support. So they do their book work that coincides with the units from Cert 2. Um, so Cert 2 is a qualification in hospitality. And what about duty of care? Does anyone know what duty of care is? So the uh, legislation, like what, it, what your job will do, you're, yeah. you're taking care of that job. As in supervising. Yeah, we, we, we're definitely trying to skill up young people to to take on the world and be successful in whatever they choose. Some of the guys that I've worked with here I've, I, are better than you know half the chefs I've worked with, and, I, and it's it's because of their attitude and what they put in it, and they they do. They find a lot, like with, with teamwork, they find dedication within each other and they inspire each other and, and I, they inspire me all the time too, so that, that too, you know, coincides with everything. But yes, I really believe it. These, these, I mean, these guys are the future of cooking. Yeah, so, I see. All right, specials. This, the special today goes with sweet potato fries. Okay, that's them here. Just keep on and you need to cook them a little bit more than normal chips. I've seen it many times, but like we've had so many people here that's, that's you're too scared to use the dishwasher that then by the end of it they're running the place and you know, they, they could basically you know, do, do what I'm doing. You know? and it's, and it's, I guess it's the confidence that they find you know, doing this. If you've, if you've come from a bad place or, or, or a difficult place, um, yes, you, you, you're overcoming the struggles and, and you're doing that here and, and that definitely comes out in the food and, and the skills that they, that they learn here, you know, and it, and it drives them more to, to want to go further in life and that, I think that's what's the difference between uh, some of these guys here who are going to, who are going to make it out there to, to what it is, you know, to some people that are, that are starting at the top and, you know, they gradually go down because they're, they, they lose that drive.
Oh look, it's a real buzz watching a young person um, achieve a goal that they've set for themselves. And we don't put any pressure on young people to achieve a certain goal. We focus on the person, we're giving them the skills. So uh, to make it for example, you know, she, she got a job fantastic, you know, she's permanent part time. Um, and then, you know, she's a young person that's overcome some awesome hurdles to get to where she is right now and the confidence that she came in buzzing today and she's gone around the whole building going oh, I got a job I got a job and that enthusiasm absolutely that gives you a buzz that's exactly I guess what makes this job worthwhile chicken turk Well, there's definitely a lot that have got the, the craft out of it and then moved on to, to get apprenticeships and uh, well, we've had so many in the past that have come back and whether they got jobs working in cafes or, or restaurants or catering businesses, they do come back and that, that's a reward in itself but it's more of a reward for me to see them um, change within themselves. And, yeah. We talk about that knife skills and life skills and I guess what it really comes down to uh, is that they're learning skills that are more more than just using a knife. They can take those skills into any employment opportunity. Any, any business or any employer will benefit from the skills that these young people are learning here. Um, so they can use their skills using an FPOS machine, using a till, um, being able to communicate well can lead into so many other parts. I mean Basically, they come here to do hospitality, they get a certificate in hospitality and they take away so much more that they can use in any part of their life. They have to also provide you with access and equity to ensure that um, no one is discriminated against and everyone's treated equally.